Well, I did not have that on my Minecraft 1.21 bingo card. That was an ironic use of that, by the way. All right, so this is literally breaking news, you guys. You have the scoop right over here on the Waddles YouTube channel. Oh boy, it's a great thing you liked and subscribed. So yesterday was a very, very big day for Minecraft worldwide. No matter what version of the game you made, Bedrock or Java, there was a brand new update dropped. You know this, you know this, this is old news. Solidly and fully, I fully believed that this would be the last major event of Minecraft for 2023. Oh. Like, just based on what has happened in the past year, snapshots are probably done the next 1.20.4 snapshot, I guessing mid-January or something like that. When the devs are back from their break. A beautiful bat was added to the game. Pretty, pretty pot with storage inside of it was also added to the game. Over on the Minecraft YouTube channel, to celebrate the release of the big update day, they dropped the brand new video, kind of recapping the update and talking about one thing from 1.20. <laughs> I don't know why one thing. Ah, the crafter. The sweet, wonderful redstone wonder that is the crafter. Inside of this new dev diary-esque video where they talk about some of the features inside of the update, we got another look at the crafter. Now, at first, when I saw screenshots of this over on Twitter, I was like, oh no, God, we're gonna go through it again. They're gonna change the crafter texture for like the seventh time. This shot right there. This right here is a very early concept for the crafter block. We can see that familiar face-looking mustache thing on the front, but on the side, in the OG days, there was a lever. I wonder if this block was ever meant to have a built-in switch. That's interesting. After that, we get more shots of developer doing developer things, and then <laughs> this beautiful concept art right here, those tiny eyes. This is the one that tricked me. This thing right here, this sweet and wonderful early version of the crafter is so funny looking. I'm not gonna lie, the current version is definitely better, but like those tiny eyes, the scrunched out little mouth right there, and then how the grate goes in the middle, it kind of like is giving very, very angry to even exist at all. So. I'm glad that they cleaned that up. The crafter should definitely be a happy and excited block, not so terribly miserable and angry looking. <laughs> so yeah. The first early shots of the crafter were beautiful, but also, pretty much immediately, the Minecraft community got digging. Now I'm not sure who technically speaking spotted this one first, but at least I first saw it on my Twitter feed from Potato Man of Minecraft. Also a frying table. Automated furnace? Huh? Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a really big deal of a one. As soon as I saw this, I instantly began shaking on the floor. I think. Okay, so this is crazy and actually like kind of sketchy at the same time. I find it a little bit hard to believe that Mojang just coincidentally completely missed this when they were like opening up the files for these shots of like developer developing right here. But right there. No. But right there at the top of the screen, plain as day clear. <laughs> <laughs> we see something called frying table. Now look, I, I don't know about you, uh, but I know a little bit about Minecraft. I went to the game immediately and looked up frying table, and, and sure enough, I mean, yes, I'm in a modded version, but that is beside the point. Frying table does not appear to exist inside of Minecraft. Instead, if I go ahead and look up table, all that I have are a couple different crafting related things inside of here. And that, they'd ignore that, that's not real. It's time for a little bit of theory, more specifically video, cinematic theory. Look, I didn't have a degree in this or nothing like that, but I know a thing or two about it, it is my career. When I am, say, recording something, sometimes some of the stuff is like a little bit set up. Like, for example, I'll place a block in a world and then I'll look at the block and talk about the block. When they were developing the crafter, I can almost guarantee they did not just stage a camera behind the developer and said, hey, go ahead and do your thing. That shot instead, and this shot right here, is 100% staged. I have such a hard time believing that this isn't staged or wasn't intentional and entirely is accidental. Frying table and S24 features up there at the top. I'm not too sure what S24 could exactly mean, but maybe like season 24, 2024. Either way, frying table, better at gameplay, crafter. Scanning through the rest of the different tabs up there, there's maybe not too much else interesting there, but frying table. Of course, as we know and love, Minecraft 1.21 is an update updating dungeons. Or at least that's one of the things inside of 1.21. Now when these trialy chambers were first debuted at Minecraft Live a little bit earlier this year, it was mentioned that for Minecraft's 15th anniversary, the devs wanted to take a look at some features that are in the game and, you know, maybe spice them up a little bit. So that's exactly what they did with the trial chamber. The structure is a million trillion times over a better version of the classic dungeon that's been in Minecraft for a long time. 
With the addition of the crafter, they're also kind of pulling back to OG features that have been long requested and maybe finally adding them to the game. 15th anniversary, dungeon overhaul, and highly requested redstone feature finally making it to the game. And it seems like, huh, taking a look at the game's features and updating them, well, that's definitely in the air. Frying table. Did I tell you about this thing? And for this next part of the video, if we are to get a frying table inside of Minecraft 1.21, just what could it be? First up, let's think about the stated themes of Minecraft 1.21. We've got tinkering, we have combat, and we have adventuring. Second off, considering the whole 15th anniversary thing and the devs wanting to update old parts of the game, let's think about old parts of the game that could use an update. Couldn't really be much to do with the generation because they did that in 1.18 with the caves and cliffs update. The inventory, mm -hmm, yes, that's a good one, small person in the back that just shouted that, you're a little weird looking, but yes, the inventory could get updated inside of 1.21. That's an old thing that needs a refresh. Combat, oh for sure, that's another old mechanic that is different on both versions of the game and needs a refresh, and in fact... I mean, they literally said it's a combat update, so I feel like that's pretty certain. But how about one of the biggest components of survival Minecraft nowadays and never really since it was added? Food. Food is such an old system, maybe even out of date. In fact, correction, no, definitely out of date. How it works nowadays, you know how it goes. If you play survival, you grind your way up to that good food. You could do that within like maybe 10 days or so in your world if you really try, probably even quicker. And then that's that, for the entire existence of your world. Same food always. All of the other foods in the meantime get completely forgotten about. And that's not even to mention things like beetroot soup that maybe are potentially actually good, yes I said it, but they don't stack, so it will like clog your entire inventory. In the modern world of Minecraft, food is so out of date. It's a shame that doesn't fit in with the- oh wait, yes, that fits in with the theme perfectly of the update. Haha. Minecraft 1.21 is a combat update, and I would argue one of the biggest parts of combat is food, actually. Food is directly related to combat because, after all, you know what happens. After you take a little bit of damage, your saturation, the hunger system, you know, all that stuff, it goes down and it becomes a problem. Especially if you get hit by a husk that pops up inside of the trial chamber. Leave me alone, stop it. Food, and maybe more so managing food and hunger, is a huge part of combat in Minecraft. After all, that's usually why you would want to consider grinding yourself up to a good type of food, not maybe carrots that don't offer very much saturation. You get good food, you heal faster, saturation's good, you can combat a little bit more. Food is literally directly related to combat in Minecraft. Also, food, and more so the saturation mechanic, very confusing mechanic, more on that in a second, but food, saturation... It's actually different when it comes to combat on Minecraft Java and Bedrock. When I was checking the trial chambers out when they were added to Minecraft Bedrock Edition for the very first time, I was shocked to find out how much slower generation is on Minecraft Bedrock. Like, I would eat food and then expect to, like, you know, fully regenerate the health or whatever, but no, 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 no. Instead, I would basically be struggling, hiding in a corner and get taken out over and over and over again because saturation, it seems to work completely different on Minecraft Bedrock. It's weird. Nowadays, Minecraft 1.21, they're making everything the same on Minecraft Java and Bedrock. Don't you think if they had a big system like, say, Saturation, they would probably want to update that and make sure it's in parity on both versions of the game. Also, like I mentioned, Saturation is such a strange, weird, confusing, invisible mechanic. Think of crafting from Minecraft... Uh, well, crafting from very early version of Minecraft. Without this recipe book that was added a million years ago now, it would be a relatively confusing system. In a more modern way, think of armor trims that were added inside of Minecraft 1.21. Without the smithing table revamp and these symbols that kind of cycle through there. And it actually gets even more apparent the more stuff I add into here. These symbols that cycle through there that give you a big hint as to what to do. Long story short, the point I'm trying to make is Minecraft nowadays, and actually for long days, like for a while now, they've been going back around to old mechanics in the game and making them a little bit more clear, easy to understand and interpret or just adding new ones that are easy to understand. That is why I have solidly good reason to believe that whatever this new frying table thing is coming to the game, well, I think definitely it'll relate to food. Like, we'll be frying some kind of food. And it may be even this could mean a greater food overhaul in general inside of Minecraft 1.21. The mechanic's a little bit of confusing, it fits the theme, blah, 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 so how could it be done? Well, I think by taking a look at the smithing table that they just updated inside of 1.20, we might be able to start to get an idea. 
So when it comes to cooking and cooking workstations, I suppose we kind of have like three. We've got the crafting table where you can make things like cake and pumpkin pie. We've got the furnace where you can just smelt up food. And then we've got the smoker where you could smelt up food except a little bit faster. I have always thought that these furnaces right here, that's kind of like a lazy implementation of these things and could definitely use like an upgrade overhaul at some point. But there's no chance that they just say delete the smoker from the game that wouldn't make any sense. Instead for this one with a new thing called the frying table. I think we could probably expect to see this smoker function exactly how it functions right now. This new frying table on the other hand, oh boy. So for this one, I would like to welcome you over to my house. Oh, home sweet home. Okay, look, it's a little bit dusty. I haven't cleaned in a while. I, I, I'll get around to cleaning, but anyways, welcome to my kitchen. And inside of the kitchen, a beautiful brand new workstation. So this first mod that I'm using to check out a little bit of potential when it comes to the frying table is called the Cooking for Blockheads. I'll leave a link down below. Cooking for Blockheads is a pretty big and a relatively famous Minecraft mod. It adds a lot of things to the game, including refrigerators. This is so trippy and crazy. We've got a lot of cool different things here, including cow in a jar, different counter blocks, cool floors that are way more like condensed than this one right here. It's pretty nice. Inside of this mod, we've got two different workstations that I like to highlight a little bit more closely, though. So first things first, I've gone out into the world. I've done all of my farming. I have ingredients. I could slide over to this thing, which is known as the cooking table, and easily craft things. Just like that, it's essentially a crafting table, except for food. If I wanted to make baked potato, it's telling me I need to smelt it, so I can't really craft it here. However, I have this thing queued up right next to it, so I kind of can craft it here. Now this little thing, the oven, that's where I think this whole frying table could come in, potentially. Knowing the recipe for baked potatoes and how I need to put it into a furnace, what if maybe I walked over to this new one, put a little bit of fuel right there, and then put all of my baked potatoes in here and look at that. That was really quick. All of these baked potatoes just funneled all the way down into the oven. Really cool animation going on there. I don't know if that would ever make it to vanilla, but it's so cool. Checking this out in here, look at that. As soon as that finishes, it cooks nine at a time. At the normal speed of like say a furnace i believe but nine at a time so that ends up being way way quicker also as you can see here we're using one piece of coal for all of this smelting i don't know if it's gonna finish up this one unfortunately i don't think so but still one piece of coal for 18 baked potatoes the simple implementation is this new frying table would be able to cook up more food in less time of course, being a frying table, this would only be for food as well. So, like, you could queue up a bunch of food there, let it do its thing, and whatever. Maybe hook hoppers up to it. It would be pretty cool. But that's the, the easy implementation. How about the more advanced implementation? Potions. We have so many different kinds of potions in the game. Maybe potions for speed, and maybe potions for a little bit of health. Maybe potions for a little bit of damage. And maybe even potions for jumping. Now look, I am not much of a chef, but I do have a basic knowledge of cooking and how things are made. Some things, like say french hey. fries, are fried in something. And depending on what you fry them in, the flavor could change. In my theoretical world of a frying table, let's say I was frying some potatoes up over here. And then I wanted to say, go ahead and add an effect over here on this side, like maybe jump boost. I will go ahead and let these things fry up. And then all of a sudden I would have a baked potato with a little bit of a jump boost fried in or cooked into the potato, changing the flavor a little bit and basically giving me some kind of extra little buff. It would change the flavor of the food a little bit and at the same time, maybe grant me a small extra buff. Would it be one potato giving me three whole minutes of speed? I don't know about that, but maybe it's just like a little bit extra speed. Another cool take on this whole revamped cooking and food system can be found inside of the multi-part machines mod. Now there's a whole lot of different stuff here. It would be done definitely differently in vanilla Minecraft, but brand new villager that's gonna sell me different kinds of crops is pretty cool. Maybe even more cool though, or an accurate to maybe a potential frying station aesthetic. Look at this thing right here. Now this whole area, this is called the kitchen. It's very, very advanced compared to like, well, compared to like the other mod, how it's done and everything like that. We've got a cutting board over here. We can access it. We've got a cooking oven. We've got a cooking pot over there. And then we've got the skillet over here. This is the specific aesthetic that I feel like resembles vanilla Minecraft a whole lot more. It almost looks like a, you know, like a blast furnace, but like frying stuff on the top. This mod, I've only dove into it a little bit, but basically we can like essentially create these combined meals, which is really cool. 
Of course, how you would expect, a combined meals are gonna have a much better benefits than just like a plain old piece of food. But frying, right here you can see how it's done, and who knows, maybe even in the vanilla game, you can only fry the vegetables and crops that you can farm, so like, maybe potatoes and carrots and things like that. Meanwhile, the meats, you smoke them inside of the smoker. I don't know. So that mod is pretty cool, I'll leave a link to that one down below as well. Now, the, basically the final thing that I'd like to talk about today, speculate on, is if we're gonna get some kind of, like, frying or cooking update, I feel like almost for certain that could mean at least one more new type of crop. Who knows, maybe even more. Pam's Harvest Craft, this is a beautiful mod, if you've never heard of it before, oh, you're missing out. Inside of this mod, we've got so many different types of crops added to the game. The whole frying effect that I talked about earlier on, it could be done with potions, or maybe it could be done by combining different types of food when you're cooking them. Like, let's say maybe we combine carrots with, like, brand new, I don't know, strawberry or something like that. At this point, I feel like crops is a big spot where Minecraft is lacking. Like, if we can add 70,000 different wood types that are all the same texture, and like no hate I love this part of the update and how there's like you know tons of different wood variations in the game but if we can have more of that why can't we have a couple different crops in the game like more than carrots potatoes and beetroot either way regardless whatever this frying table is more crops please please make more crops and add them to minecraft my dream it would come true it would be like stardew valley I could live all my dreams and fantasies now next up kind of related to what we were just talking about but not at the same time check this out over on the bug tracker, literally right after Minecraft 1.20.3 dropped, we have 17 bug fixes queued up and loaded in. Whenever snapshots start again, the 17 bug fixes already, that's kind of insane, and maybe even more intriguingly, so many of these bug fixes, there are at least like four of them out of 17, have to do with the boss bar, not rendering correctly. The boss bar, you say, huh? A frying table and a food revamp, what do you think? Is it on the way to 1.21? Tell me your thoughts down below. The list week is coming off. I was actually going to originally start it tomorrow, but I think I'm going to do a guide episode instead. Sorry for the long wait. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Subscribe for list week coming so soon. It's been me, Waddles, and until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.